Sagittarius, welcome. This is for um, February love reading 2023. Now, I usually do timeless love readings because there is no timing when it comes to the universe or tarot. Everything is, you know, in fluent motion. So everything comes to you in the right timing. Um, but I'm going to do a February 2023 reading to see what is coming towards you during the month of February. Now, some of us, probably a good portion of us, celebrate Valentine's Day here and there, maybe when we do have someone in our life. Um, so I'm going to do for this month, the giveaway will be three free love readings. All you need to do is be a subscriber. So for those of you that are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I do monthly giveaways. January was... Um, two up to 30 minute readings of their choice. I'm reaching out to those people by the end of today. And for February, it is three free readings. Leave a heart emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of February. You need to be a subscriber, so go ahead and hit that button. Um, and then leave any color heart that you, that you desire, whatever is your favorite color. I will be reaching out to three random people that I choose at the end of February and you will receive your free love reading um, for the month of, you know, for Valentine's Day for the month of February. All right, guys. And every month I do a different giveaway. Sometimes it's even monetary, like a hundred dollar gift card I gave away around the holidays just to give back for all the support that I receive here. All right. So this is for Sagittarius, the month of February. Oh, that one wanted to come out. Split energy. So you might feel at, at crossroads in terms of love. You know, you just might feel or have a couple options. It's going to be different for each one of you. It's not a personal reading. So always take what resonates. But for some of you, you could be at a crossroads from someone. Or you could um, be at a crossroads within your life where you don't have enough time to date or you haven't had enough time to date. Now you're getting to the point where things start aligning for you in your life. There could be love that's coming in. Or this could be, like I said, you're at a crossroads with someone. Settling. I mean, for those of you that have someone or just met someone, do you feel like you're settling? Do you feel like, you know, you've just been in so many connections that really haven't gone anywhere? It could be, you know, a karmic that's giving you attention, giving you, you know, feeling or chemistry. Feeling like, yeah, you know what? I might as well go with it. I really haven't had a real relationship in a while. You seem like you're into me. Let's, you know, if it's that energy, there could be more for you. All right, Spirit, anything else? From my Sagittarians. Receive wanted to come out. So I do feel like there's. It's your time. Yeah see. I feel like someone's in their head thinking about you. Nostalgia. Looking at old pictures. Possibly reading old text messages. If they have a voicemail. Of a message you left. Maybe listening to your message. Reliving. Replaying the past. see your energy knave of wands wanting to take a leap of faith and rush in towards someone someone that you have you find chemistry with passion this is your energy aries leo sagittarius their energy manifest look at this magician very power they could be a very powerful spiritual being Thinking about you, for those of the, those of you that it's reminiscing, thinking about you, thinking about times that you've shared, manifesting this in the future. The Seven of Swords is at the bottom. So, because it just caught my eye. I feel like for those of you that somebody pops up in your head, you know, that I'm, when as I'm doing this reading, 
Seven of Swords, broken trust. Could have been dishonesty. Could have been hiding the truth from you. Maybe not telling you the entire truth. But I feel like there was broken trust here. Ace of Chalices. Look at that. So in the, in the past, you did have a connection with this person. You did feel love for this person. Not only did you have passion for him, but you felt that love. High Priestess. There's no speaking in this connection. Both of you are silent, doing your own thing. Remaining in your power. Keeping things hidden, keeping emotions bottled up. Not really expressing it to one another. And the future is seven of chalices. Decisions that are going to need to be made. Please clarify the knave of wands for Sagittarius' energy. All right, both wanted to come out. There's definitely been an ending with this person. Let me get the card. With the death card here, there's definitely been an ending. Both of you feel like wounded warriors. I feel like you specifically feel like a wounded warrior. It's like it was a struggle in this connection. Feeling like you were putting so much effort into this connection and never really getting to the top. But I don't feel that you're ready to give up. I do feel there's going to be progression here. Please clarify Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, Nave of Chalices. And look at this. This person is manifesting the shit out of this. They feel like you've already moved on and you may have. You Like I said, you may have a karmic connection or you may be out there dating and have a few. But this person is trying to find the right thing to say. Writing down words. Trying to, I mean, in this card... Getting ready to send a letter, but that really doesn't happen. So could possibly getting their um, emotions, their words down in a text and then deleting it like it's not exactly what they want to say. They may have a cat because the cat's ready to play with a piece of paper right there. You may have a cat, but with this black cat here, there's going to be luck in this connection. This person is so distraught thinking they've lost their moment with you. Feeling like they lost you for good. You will be hearing from this person. There will be a breakthrough. All right, Scott. All right. I didn't even ask a question. Yeah, Four of Swords. Definitely retreat it from one another. Standing your own ground. Both of you separated and kept each other at an arm's distance. And there has been healing. Some time for healing, sometimes to get back to your normal selves, um, get back that balance that you had. That's where I feel like the split energy comes in at. It's like finding yourself at a crossroads. Please clarify the Ace of Chalices in the past. Yeah, see? It's like the wheels were turning for the two of you. You were meant to be on each other's path in the past. You were meant to have this comfort and connection. And I feel like the wheel of fortune is still there. You're reminiscing about one another. What does the future hold? Please clarify the seven of chalices. King of wands. You're going to make that move, I feel. You could also be dealing with a fire sign. They may have water in their chart. They have water here, fire, air, and you could have those placements in your chart also. But I feel like there's going to be a decision made. It's like you, you both know you want to embrace one another, be together. I feel like they loved your butt. See how her hand is reaching around to his butt? He's embracing her, just putting his arms around her, and she's reaching for his butt. Mm. 
And here's that breakthrough. <coughs> we have wish fulfillment. We have the stars aligning. We have the Ace of Chalices and the Ace of Wands. I'm going to pull travel tiles, guys. So for those of you that it's re that it's resonating, you know, look for their initials, your initials, maybe letters within your names. If this completely resonates and you don't see initials, that's okay too. That's just one way of making it more personal. When you want your own reading, when you want me to tune into just your energy, you just have to click the link below. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. You may have met this person through work or business. Coworker could have been somebody that you did business with, but I feel like they want to come together and work things out. There's definitely been an ending, and I will clarify that. Yeah, see? It's been a hard ending, Sagittarius. I feel like it lacked direction. Somebody seems emotionally unavailable. But now I feel like it's I feel like it's this King of Swords mentality. It's this mentally strong mind over matter mentality where this person's like, oh shit. I really do have feelings for Sagittarius. Like WTF, now what do I do? And here they come. Five of Swords in reverse with flowers behind their back. Hoping you'll turn around and, and face them. Why is the death card here twice? Why is the death energy here twice? For some of you that resonate with the same sex, we have two kings here. You both have passion for one another. But I do feel somebody's going to need to might need to make a decision. For those of you that have moved on to maybe a karmic, and that you think about this person, or you reminisce, or you may even hide their photos in a separate fold, a separate folder in your phone. Um, I feel like you may go through your pictures here now and then, and think of them. Oh no. My puppy's dreaming. Kona. Kona. Baby, you okay? Yeah, she was dreaming. It was just really weird. Maybe the two of you dream about one another. She was definitely acting weird just then. Maybe, the, like I said, the two of you dream of one another. Maybe you connect on the 5D for those of you that has a soulmate connection. All right, we got the Queen of Cups. There was definitely emotional pain here. This breakup was very hard. And like I said, there might be a third-party energy. Either you might have moved on and feel like you're settling. They may have moved on when, you know, the two of you come together or run into one another. The death energy is the transformation. It's like the ending was hard. It lacked direction. You might have been at a crossroads at that point of your life where... You were going one way, they were going the other. It was just poor timing. It sucked because the two of you felt the connection, but it wasn't just, it wasn't aligning for you to spend time with one another. And with, I, like I said, it could be the same sex because we have two kings here, but then we also have a queen. So I do feel like both of you are coming together with a lot of passion. I do feel the person that seemed emotionally unavailable was like, you know, F, I really do have feelings for my Sagittarius. And it's like they try to write this, the, the right text to you. Trying to find the right words to say to you, but you will be hearing from them. All right, Spirit, come on. See, Phoenix rising. There has been a transformation, a renewal, a rebirth in this connection. It's going to be stability. It's going to go long lasting. 
It's going to endure all the tests of faith. All right, we'll take it. It's already in motion with the air energy here. And then just wanted to pop out. You were the querent, a person you already know, girlfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. And with the wheel of fortune and the showing up at the bottom, I do feel it's a destined partnership. You were meant to meet this person in this lifetime. You were meant to be at a crossroads when you met them. And you're meant to have them in your in your future. All right. Messages between Sagittarius. And their person spirit. I wish I had been able to give you my heart. It's like I, I feel like somebody sitting, like one person sitting at a desk, you know, sideways, facing another person that's like bent down right in front of them. And it's like the anguish between the two of them. And it's like, you know. But I have to go away to school. But I have to relocate for work. But we have, but feel this connection. How can we deny this? And it's just something that just happens. It's like where the two of you are not on the same page. And I just got goosebumps. I sabotaged this connection and regret it. It might have been that you didn't feel like you had enough energy to provide this connection. I had to lose you to realize the value of this connection. Like I said, Sagittarius, they're finding the right words. So for some of you, you're definitely going to be receiving a message from them in the month of February. B, G, S, A, O, R, W, I, N as in Nick, T, these are all repeats, E, blank scrabble tile, and U. All right, focus on the messages I just delivered and focus on the letters. Like I said, if you don't see letters within your name or their name or however it resonates and you do, and you, you know, and this reading resonated for you other than the letters, then it's meant for you to hear. I, Sean just popped out to me like S H A W N S E A N. I don't know why that just popped out. I've never dated a Sean, but there you go. And I, I don't have no Sagittarius in my chart. But yeah, focus on what I said in the message. Um, there is somebody who really is reminiscing and I feel their anguish of like trying to find the right words to say to you to grab your attention, hoping you'll reply. All right, have a great month ahead. Like I said, new viewers, go ahead and subscribe. Um, leave a heart emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of February. Whatever color heart you would like. I will be reaching out to three people at the end of February. Make sure your notifications are on for those of you that are interested for three free love readings. All right? All right, love and light.